Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to transform a basic swimwear block into a bikini set with two different bikini bottom styles. So we're going to have a high-waisted style that sits at the waistline and we're also going to have a top hip style that sits along the top hip line. This is a really, really quick and simple tutorial that features a whole range of tools and pattern making techniques that are going to really help when it comes to adapting basic blocks in Adobe Illustrator. So simple but powerful. Okay, but however, before we start, there are a few things that we need to do before we actually get started. So first, I'm going to go to the designlab.london website and I'm going to download the Top Hip Basic Swimwear Pattern Pack UK4-22. Uh, there should be a link to this in the top right corner appearing now. Anyway, the Top Hip Swimwear Block is one of five different leg hole styles to choose from. So take a look and find the right pack for you and your project. However, the second part of this tutorial will only work with the Top Hip mid hip and also low hip leg hole styles so maybe watch this tutorial you know from start to finish and then you know make up your mind when it comes to what selection or what let's say swimwear block you want to use what leg hole style you want to use anyway let's jump on the mac and we'll start drafting okay let's get started so i am going to i've downloaded the sw003 basic swimwear block uh, with classic neckline and top hip leg pack UK422 from the designlab.london website. I've simply unzipped the file on my desktop. I'm just going to open up that document now or that folder. I'm going to go to editable patterns because we're going to be editing these patterns, Adobe Illustrator format. And then I'm going to go for the fully nested block, which has got all sizes 4 to 22. Let's just open that up. And if you double click it, it should open up in Adobe Illustrator. And here is that pack. And as you can see, we have all of those different graded sizes from UK4 all the way up to 22 and over here on the right hand side you can see we have a bunch of layers so uh, simply click on this little button here which is layers if you can't find it go to window and then layers and it will appear for you and we can start to um, turn off the visibility on some of these patterns and I'm going to do it for all of them apart from UK 8 so we just have UK 8 displayed here which is great um, there is one thing to mention, if you are new to um, pattern making in Adobe Illustrator uh, and you're not familiar with it, then we have a whole series of free courses and tutorials on the PatternLab.London website, uh, which will give you all the tools, tips, tricks and techniques when it comes to digital pattern making in Adobe Illustrator. Highly recommend you take a look at those before you start following this tutorial, because we are going to go through this quite quickly uh, and you're going to need that information first of all. Um, okay, anyway, let's get started. So as I said, I've selected the UK size 8 for this little tankini, um, let's say, project. And so what I'm going to do is, I've turned off all these different layers over here just by using the little eye icon, so you can turn them on and off. I'm going to get my big selection tool, which is this black one here. I'm going to click and drag over this whole pattern. There we go. I'm then going to go to Edit and then Copy. I'm going to go File and then New Document. And here I'm going to make it 300 cm wide by 400 height centimeters. You can change it to inches if you wish, or pixels or points, whatever you want. And I'm going to click, actually let's give it a name. Let's call this Tankini Pattern Tutorial. I'm just going to create. And then here I'm just going to go Control V on my keyboard, or you know, edit and then paste. And here is my pattern, it's full scale. We've got obviously a lot of space to work in, which is great. Also a few little tips here. So if you want to navigate around this page really quickly and easily without having to use these little arrows, um, if you hold down the space key on your keyboard, you'll get a little hand and then click and drag and you can move around the page just by clicking and dragging. Also if you hold, hold down command or control on your keyboard and then hit minus, the minus key and the plus key, you can zoom in and out. So plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. Anyway, let's get started. So, first of all, I'm going to get my small selection tool, which is the white one over here. I'm just going to simply select that title. We don't really need it. And also, so my pattern has got a purple outline uh, because obviously on the existing pattern here, we have a whole bunch of different grades and they all have different colors, which identifies them as different grades. So I'm just going to change this to become, per, um, to become black. So let's just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go to my magic wand tool, which is Y on your keyboard as a shortcut. I'm going to click on the outline of, I'm just going to click on all of these lines. I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the UK8 symbol as well. I'm going to go to my um, fill and stroke, so my stroke color. Just going to double click. And then here I'm just going to bring this down to black and click OK. Perfect. So now we have our pattern. And also I think this text, yeah, let's get our small section tool. Click on the text. Scroll over, hold down the shift key, click on that text as well. We can double click on the fill and then go to black and now our pattern is in black. Okay, so I'm going to create um, two different tankini versions here. 
Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click and drag over the whole pattern. I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. Let's just paste this one. Let's get it in line with the bust. Let's move this over to the right hand side. Actually, before we do that, uh, I want to remove these labels because we're actually going to be editing this block. I don't really want the labels in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to click, get my big section tool, click on these labels, drag them off to the right hand side. Same with the UK 8. As you can see, this pattern's fully grouped at the moment, so let's just go object. So I'm going to get my big section tool, select the whole pattern, go object and then ungroup. Let's do it one more time. And I can click on my UK 8. There it is and get my big section tool, hold down the shift key, click on the other one, move this off to the right hand side. And in fact, let's pull it over to the left. And then I'll get my big section tool, click and drag over the whole pattern. Go edit, copy, edit, paste. And let's just move this off to the right hand side. Fantastic. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna cut this pattern up into a little tankini version. And I'm gonna do that by using, first of all, to define my pattern. So let's just create a point. So my ellipse tool. I'm then going to double click on the line outline. Let's make it 62B4C7, which is the pattern lab blue. There we go. Click OK. Let's go to my line width. Let's make that two points. And I'm just going to hold down the shift and option key on my keyboard and click and drag. And that will create a nice little circle. And that's my point. Then I'm going to click and drag this over to the waistline. I'm going to copy and paste it. So Command C, Command V on my keyboard. Let's paste what, another one again. I'm going to place them all on the waistline here. Perfect. I'm going to start off with the bottoms first of all. And you know what? I'm going to do exactly the same for the opposite side or for the other pattern as well. Now we've got them. Okay, so first of all, let's work on the front pattern. So I'm going to do a high-waisted tankini first of all. So the bottoms of these tankini is going to be at the waistline. Because I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to hit the Enter key on my keyboard. And this will bring up the Move dialog box. I'm going to go zero horizontally. We're not going left or right. We're going to go down. And then for the vertical, I'm going to go down by 1.5 centimeters. If I was to hit minus, that would then move up. So minus to go up, plus to go down. But we want to go plus 1.5. Let's hit OK. And that moves our point. Let's check. 1.5 centimeters, which is great. And then for the back, I'm going to go up ever so slightly. So I'm going to get my big section tool, select that point, hit the Enter key. Zero on the horizontal, minus 0.5 on the vertical, hit OK. So we're lowering the front and we're raising the back ever so slightly. And so now what I'm doing is I'm going to draw my points. I'm going to get my pen tool. I'm just going to click on the edge of this point here and the edge of the other one. Let's go and click the small selection tool, click off, get the pen tool. I'm going to click on this point and then this point, which is great. Next what I want to do is get my anchor point tool and this will allow me, if I click on that end anchor point, to create a nice curved line. And so I'm going to hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal, you see? And then I'm just going to simply just click and drag and move those out to create a nice beautiful curve to that front waistline. Same for the back, I'm going to get my anchor point tool, click and then drag not so much, just to create a lovely little curved line. Okay, so that is essentially my um, the bottoms created. Now I want to create the top as well, so I want to cut out this midsection. So once again, I'm going to grab get my big section tool. I'm going to click on this point, hit copy and paste, and I'm going to paste it just on the bust line, just here. I'm going to basically outline my bust so I know how far to go down from that bust. So I'm just going to add my um, point at this location, hit the Enter key. I'm going to go minus one and zero vertically and hit OK. I'm then going to get my ellipse tool. I'm going to go from the center of the bus point, hold down the shift and option key on my keyboard to draw a circle out from that center point. If I didn't hold down shift and option, we would get a mess. So hold down shift. The shift locks it so it's a constrained circle and option brings it from a center point. I'm just going to drag that out until we get to the middle of that circle, which is great. I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and I'm just going to simply click. With this one selected, I'm going to simply click on that line and that will take the attributes or the effects of that line and add it to my bust. Let's just simply grab this point, take it down to the bottom of the bust. So this is just outlining a vague concept when it comes to the, um, let's say, bust. So I'm going to add my point to the bottom and I'm then going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to go zero and then I'm going to say, let's go down about four centimeters, click copy. Okay, so there is where we're going to have the base or the bottom edge of our top part of this tankini. And let's just get our line tool. I'm going to click on this point and then drag, hold down the shift key and that will align it to the horizontal. 
let's just drag it out so it goes across the entire blocks. I'm going to click and then drag it along. Try and make sure, hold down the shift key and it will lock it to that horizontal line. Let's just drag it across the whole blocks. I can get rid of these points now. So just select them and then hit backspace a few times. And let's just copy and paste a new point in. I'm going to add it to the side seam here. I'm also going to add that point to the center front. I'm going to add it to the center back and also to the side seam. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, with this selected, if you hold down the option key, it allows you to make multiple copies just by holding down the option key. So that's how I'm basically clicking on that circle, dragging it out, holding down the option key. I'm also holding down the shift key to lock it to the vertical or to the horizontal, sorry. Okay, great, we can now get rid of that guideline. We don't need it anymore. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna add some curvature to this, but at the moment, this is just a straight line. So I want to lower this side seam point down ever so slightly. So you get my big selection tool. I'm gonna to click on that point, hit the enter key on my keyboard, zero horizontally and 0.5 on the vertical, hit okay. Do exactly the same on the opposite side. 0 and 0.5. Oh, we don't wanna copy it, but that's okay. We can delete the existing point. And let's just move this in with the arrow keys. You can do that by simply selecting the point and then using the arrow keys to nudge it left and right until we find the center of that side seam. Select it, arrow keys to nudge it left and right. And now I'm gonna get my pen tool. I'm gonna to click on that outline. Uh, sorry, click on that uh, point and this point here. Let's go to the, let's click off. Let's go to the pen, um, the pen tool again. Click on this point, click on this point. And we can just click off. Next, I'm going to go to my Convert Anchor Point tool. I'm going to click on this point, hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal and create that curvature. Then I'm just going to click off. Let's get select that line, get the Anchor Point tool, click on that point and drag, holding down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. And there we have it, perfect. Okay, so we have our front and our back, and this is the area that we're going to remove to create that little tankini. And once again, it's a high-waisted tankini. So there's not a huge amount of space here that we're removing. So now I'm going to simply Select this line, I'm gonna hold down the shift key, select this line, this is my big selection tool. So select the line, hold down the shift key to queue up the selection, select that line, select the outline, and then I'm gonna to go to my Pathfinder. If you can't find Pathfinder, go to Window, and then Pathfinder. And here, I'm gonna to go to the Divide option. I'm just gonna click Divide, and now what that does is it uses those lines to separate the block up into individual panels, which is really useful. I can even then get my small selection tool, click on this area here and then hit backspace a few times to remove it. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So big section tool, click on this line, click on this line, hold down the shift key to queue up that selection, click on the outline, divide. And then once again, small selection tool, click on that line there, hit backspace a few times and now we have our tankini divided up. However, we have a few lines here which obviously need to be divided also. So I'm just going to get my small selection tool, I'm going to click on this line here, get my scissor tool and I'm just going to snip Snip, ah, okay, you wanna make sure you select the line, otherwise I'm actually snipping the block, not the line. So this one's fine. Let's click on this line here. We can then just snip. So select the line first and then snip it. And then hit, select it and then hit backspace a few times to remove the lines that we don't need. Same with this one, select the line. Let's just snip it, snip it, <coughs> remove that. And we're looking good. I can also remove these points. So I'm gonna get my big selection tool. I'm gonna to click on the points. And let's just remove these. We don't actually want them or need them. Oops, not the outline. Hold down the shift key to queue up the selection or to select multiple items and then hit backspace a few times. So at the moment, <coughs> these are all individual items. In fact, they're grouped. So I want to obviously group these independently. So this should be one group, this one group, this one group, and this one group. So I'm going to big section tool, click and drag of the whole area, go object, ungroup, Object, let's just, okay, it's fully ungrouped now. If this goes gray, it means we've fully ungrouped everything. So these should all be individual elements now, which they are. Big section tool, click and drag over the whole of that one element, object, group. Click and drag, object, group. Click and drag, I can also use, so Command and G on my keyboard is a shortcut to grouping. So select, Command G, groups it. And there we have our individual pattern pieces, which is great. Okay, so that is our first little tankini concept created. So that is that high, um, what do you call it? Uh, that high-waisted tankini. And you know what? We don't actually need this pattern. We can use our existing pattern here to create a lower rise tankini. So I'm gonna get my big section tool, click and drag with this whole element, edit, copy, edit, paste. Let's paste that in. Let's get it in line with the bus just by clicking and moving it. 
There we go. And so now what we'll do is we're going to use the same top. The top's great, but we want to maybe have like a lower... Um, we maybe want to use this top hip line as the, um, the top edge. So I'm going to get... I'm going to create um, a little point once again. Get my ellipse tool, hold down the shift and option key, click and drag. We can then change that to be 60B4C7, pattern lab blue. And then we can make that two points, remove the dash line, get our big section tool, and we can place that into position here. I'm just going to remember, hold down the option key, and you can click and drag and duplicate that. If you hold shift key as well, it'll lock it to that horizontal. And we can just keep dragging these out. Perfect. So once again, on the front, I'm going to select that point, get my big section tool, click on that point. I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard, zero, and then 1.5 down. Let's hit OK. And for the back, we're going to go zero and minus 0.5 to go up. So minus to go up, plus to go down vertically. Hit OK. Do exactly the same thing. I'm going to click on that end point click on that point there and okay so this is important I should have mentioned it earlier the reason why we're clicking outside and not to the actual middle of that point is because in order to divide this block up this line needs to be extend outside the uh, boundary of our pattern okay so it must always be outside if it was inside it wouldn't work if it was on the line it might work but who knows so always make sure it's on the outside let's then get our pen tool click on this point and click on this point let's go to our anchor point tool I'm then going to click on this point and drag, hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal and create a nice, beautiful curve. Same with the back, get our anchor point tool, click and drag, hold down the shift key, lock it to the vertical, perfect. So that's our front and back, this is the new top line. So now I'm going to get my big section tool. If I click on this, it's all grouped, so let's go object and ungroup. So then it's just the outline we're selecting. Similarly, you can always get the small selection tool, hold down the shift and option key, click on this and click on this. The small section tool basically selects independently. And then I can just go to divide. Do the same here. Small section tool, click on the outline, holding down the shift and option key. Uh, shift and option key, click that line as well, divide. And I can now just get rid of that one and that one. And we can actually, you know what, I'm gonna extend this line down. I'll do that simply. So get my small section tool, click on that point, hold down the shift key to lock it to the, horiz uh, to the vertical. So extend that line down, click on that point, bring it down. We can get rid of the waist, not the waist, the top hip line. Let's click on that point, extend that line down, lock, hold down the shift key to lock it to the vertical. There we go. And we can remove our existing waistline. And we can also get rid of these points as well. And so that is how we've created two little tankinis very, very simply using some very, very simple concepts. Uh, in digital pattern making in Adobe Illustrator. And now I can start to add all of the content back into these pattern pieces. So let's just grab one of these labels, and at the moment they're all grouped. So my big selection tool, click, let's go object, and then ungroup. See if that does anything. Okay, great. So now we have this one, which is perfect. I'm gonna go object and ungroup one more time. And there, okay, so we've removed that one, that's great. I'm gonna click on this big selection tool, click and drag it into our pattern. And maybe it's a little bit too big, because obviously this is a smaller pattern now, or pattern panel. So I'm going to big section tool, click on the um, label, go to this free transform at the top and click and drag, hold down the shift key to lock it so it's proportionate. Otherwise we're going to get all kinds of weird shapes. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's move that up. We can even, if we want to, small section tool, click on that, backspace, get rid of it. Let's maybe make this a little bit bigger now. There we go, that's better. Get my small selection tool, I can click on that endpoint and hold down the shift key to lock it to the vertical just to drag that down. We can maybe extend that as well. And then here we can just simply type, okay, so this is a UK size eight, so I need to edit this label. So let's make it eight. And you can do that simply by getting the small selection tool and then double clicking on the text. So this can be front um, top panel. And this can be basic tankini block. You know, you could even call this, what is it, high-waisted um, whatever. You know, it doesn't make a difference. You can add text here if you want to. High-waisted tankini, uh, it's up to you. And I'm going to do cut to unfold because this is obviously, uh, this is our fold line. So let's just simply grab center front fold line. Let's place that in. And then I'm going to select this, hold down the shift key, select this. Uh, and then command C to copy, command V to paste. Let's paste it down into our, the bottom panel. There we go, got a small selection tool, 
click and then drag, hold down the shift key to lock it to the vertical, same for this one as well. And then here we can call this front bottom panel. And we can also get our UK8, it's a big section tool, click and we can drag this onto here. At the moment it's actually lower down in the layers which is why that line is appearing on top of it. So let's select it and go object, arrange, bring to front, perfect. I can then select that, hit copy and paste and we can place it in here as well. Lovely. And let's do the same. Let's grab this. Let's copy and paste it. Let's place it on the back panel. We can extend these up and out just by selecting that point and moving it. And here we can call this front back panel. And this one, we can click and drag this across using the option key to copy that. And we can call this back bottom panel. Great stuff, and we can take our UK8s, copy and paste, stick it on the opposite side. If you want to be really neat, you can get your big section tool, select this one, hold down the shift key, select this one. Let's go to align, and we've just aligned them. Select this one, hold down the shift key, select this one, and then align. Looking good. Okay, so now we've got our finished pattern pieces. I'm gonna get my big section tool, I'm gonna to click and drag over that whole upper panel and go object, and then group. Select this one, object, group. Select this one, Command-G to group, select this, Command-G to group. And there we have, let's say, our finished pattern. We can even add seam allowance to this. We have a tutorial on that, but I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. I'm going to get my small section tool, click and drag over the outlines only, hold down the shift key, click on the outlines only, object, path, offset path, and I'm going to put 0.6 centimeters because my serger or overlocker uses 0.6. Click OK. Go to my line width, I'm going to make that two points just so we can see the difference between those two lines. So the inner thinner line is our pattern line and the outer thicker line is our cut line. And now, because obviously this is on the fold, I'm gonna get my small selection tool. I'm gonna to click and drag down the center just those little points here. So I'm selecting that point, that one, that one, and that one. I'm just gonna then drag that in, okay? So I can drag all of those in together. If I hold down the shift key, it'll lock it to the horizontal, which is really handy. Same for the back. Let's grab these, click and drag that in. <coughs> Great stuff. So that is pretty much our finished pattern. Now I could do all of the decoration to this one as well, and I'm gonna do that very, very quickly and speed it up because it's pointless going through the same process. And that is our finished uh, tankini pattern. We've got the high waist and we've got the top hip version as well. Obviously, you can customize the height of this using this tutorial. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Okay, that's it from me, guys. Don't forget to like this tutorial, subscribe to our channel, and also turn on your notifications. There are loads more tutorials coming up, and we launch a new one every single week, so don't miss out. Also, make sure you leave us a comment below. We love hearing your feedback. And also check out our Instagram channel link for products and launches and behind the scenes and much, much more. Anyway, guys, have a lovely weekend. Take care and I will see you next time. Have fun. Bye-bye.